What's up, nerds? nerds? What's up, nerds? God's Master here with another Magic the Gathering puzzle quest. Today's quest, Jace reawakened the brand new Mono Blue Pains Walker, Pains Walker, from uh, Webcore, uh, available in the vault right now for $29.99 American USD dollars. You can pick him up. Uh, is he worth it? I do not like mono walkers. You guys know I don't like mono walkers, but I'm going to give a fair assessment here because I actually even saw that I didn't even really play with uh, the last Jace that they released. I didn't even level him up, I don't think. I didn't do much with him just because I wasn't really impressed with him just on a visual sense. I know people like him because he draws all the cards and stuff, but I didn't, uh, whatever. I'm not a big mono walker fan. What I am a big fan of is Webcore. Webcore! Get lean in here, buddy. Thank you guys. Appreciate you guys spotting the channel. As always, gratitude to you guys for giving the channel, hooking it up, being sponsored by you guys for this early access content as part of the content creator crew. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. The Council of Content Creators. Uh, for better or the worse, we do get access to these kinds of things, and I spotlight them to give you a fair review and let you know my thoughts on them and if they're worth chasing or not. So let's jump right into it. Thank you so much, Webcore. Uh, all right, so Jace reawakened. So what do you get for the $29.99 American USD dollars? You get some runes, you get some pinks, you get uh, three blue packs, you get him as a planeswalker. I don't know if he comes with a static card because it doesn't show me which card I get with him, but I'm assuming he does have something. Uh, he's got 113 life. He's got a uh, passive ability, def definite resolution. When you draw your first card each turn, if this uh, if this is turn one, two, or three, your blue mana bonus is increased by one. Otherwise, increase the cost of the last card in your opponent's hand by four. So by turn three, you get a permanent plus one to your plus your blue mana bonus. So when you get into turn four, you're basically operating at plus seven. That's kind of cool. So just by default, doesn't really do anything other other than that, just delaying your mana gains, which is interesting. But otherwise, increase the cost of the last card in your opponent's hand by four. So then after that, the next turn, like turn five, I'm assuming, turn four or five, one, two, three, no, turn four, uh, you actually are then increasing the last card in your opponent's hand by four, so you're making it a little more oppressive for them to be able to cast. Interesting. All right, so this is, good God, I can't see that. I'm assuming that's eight loyalty yeah eight loyalty for psychic manipulation discard the last card from your hand gain x mana x is the base cost of that discarded card that is sick that is really really good i like that a lot i'm not drawing anything but i really there's enough draw on meta right now that you can just go have your hand full all the time but that ability i'm just going to discard a card put something in my yard that if i needed to right if i if that's a play i don't know that there is off the top of my head but I'm gaining at least, you know, if I'm playing with some bigger cards, it doesn't have to be a spell card, doesn't have to be a support card, doesn't have to be any card. It, whatever card it is, the base cost of that card, I'm getting mana for. Mwah, brilliant. Chef's Kiss. I love it. Get a five swap right away and then go get, you know, 18 to 20 something mana. Brilliant. Love it. Second ability, nine. There's only one more loyalty. Memory reversal. Return up to one random opposing support to the owner's hand. Uh, imposing support. This effect can affect vanguards. Return the first opposing creature to their owner's hand, then increase the cost of those cards by six. So you're taking two, one support, one creature, if they've got them off the board, putting them back in hand, vanguards included. That's a pretty good, decent removal. I like that a lot. So if you couple that with some hand hate, you're basically dealing with them to, you know, pick it up and then throw it away. I like that. Pick it up and throw it away. Uh, 17 loyalty for telepathic shock. These are all pretty cheap. That's great. Drain all mana from your opponent's hand. Okay. Deal X damage to your opponent's planeswalker. X is 45. Okay. Minus the amount of mana drained from their hand this way. So if you got hand hate in some capacity, uh, I know what we'll be talking about. I know what we'll be doing. I'm not going to spoil it. I, I know what we're going to do. Uh, then we're able to take those cards out of hand and then hit them for 45, which is pretty significant. Uh, Okay, it might be a good finisher, like when you're ready to end the match, uh, in coalition play or whatever it is. And mana bonuses, two to white, four to blue, seven after turn three. Uh, and then plus three to black, minus one to red, and then minus, uh, plus one to green. Sunken Citadel, anyone? Uh, clearly, this is obviously something that we were going to use Sunken Citadel in. That's kind of like my default card. You're going to see me play it in every deck. Anything that has multiple plus ones, uh, in their positive mana bonus pool, I'm going to be upping with some considered all that said let's take a look at my peasant builds i kind of like this guy i'm shocked don't tell nalthazar I, I i think i like this guy okay so i'm gonna go super janky here i'm gonna go three steps ahead uh discard a card and draw two cards uh, drain five mana from each of card in your opponent's hand 
Create a copy of target non-token creature on the battlefield under your control. I like that. We like those. Uh, Leyline of Guild Pact for mana draw, destruction of the board, Sunken Citadel for the gain of the mana bonuses. Cut your losses because it's the best card in standard, in my opinion. Theme Core Scholar, 12 mana flying. What it does, it gives you loyalty, so you can pump up your loyalty abilities. Uh, Voldarian, uh, Vald- Vald- Valdalian, tax catcher. Uh, bottom line, if you do three mana in your opponent's hand, then your opponent discards the first card without mana from their hand. Uh, we also have Desertion, which we take their card from them, so they don't have a card in hand. Counter Flash, Counter Lash, they drain mana, discard a card, uh, and then if we ditch a card that's similar to a card we have in hand, like a spell card, then our card gains full mana. Drain six mana from your opponent's hand, there, and your opponent discards the first card without uh, mana from their hand, then deny three gems. Uh, and then make disappear, uh, drain six mana from your opponent's hand, and if the first card in your opponent's hand has zero mana, your opponent discards that card. This is complete jank. I'm just trying to lean into his second and third abilities to see if we can make those work, and his first ability, of course. We're going to use that. Here's a look at the deck. Click, click. And we're going up against, it's probably going to be some stupid, powerful training grounds. That's Ashiok. I don't like ever facing Ashiok. He was, he's tough. Let's go. Okie dokie. Well, yeah, we want that. Those are, that's really what it's all about. Uh, let's go ahead and go blue, right? I think. I don't know. Let's check. Let's see. Uh, let's go here. I'll go here. With, uh, Satoru. I, it's all I play now, Satoru. I love that card. That card is so good. I had to take him out because it was just, that's all I was playing was with Satoru. Satoru. And I want to play with some other stuff for you guys so you just aren't bored with Satoru. Because that's all I would do, baby. Let's go. Boom. There it is. Uh, we discard our cards. We draw the cards. And we gain the loyalty. Oh, we're up to our loyalty. I didn't even be gaining the mana. I should be doing that. Yeah, let's, let's actually spotlight the, the, this guy. And so we want to go ahead and do our, oop, before we do that, make sure we got a biggie big boy down there. Oh, see? See that? You see what I did there? We switch this out. We discard that card. We gain that 12 mana. We gain the 5 swap. We do the thing. We cascade into what we want to. We take the mana out of that. We drain it. <laughs> Wait, what happened to my guy? Where'd he go? <laughs> I get him for a second and then he goes away? What jankiness was that? <laughs> what what happened? <laughs> so it said it'll make disappear was cast by Godsmaster. Desertion was cast by Godsmaster. Lord Xander the I cast him. He was triggered. How was he triggered? Hey now. I don't understand how he was triggered. <laughs> Desertion was triggered. Lord Xander was cast by Godsmaster was triggered. Bro, what happened there? <laughs> Webcore, what the heck just happened? What did you guys do? Okay, okay, let's go white here, and we're just gonna go smack, and we're gonna gain the loyalty. We'll try to get it to our third. We want to keep their hand empty, and we kind of did that, so. Uh, alright, alright, I see you, fam. Alright, there's Voldarian. Uh, we don't draw the card. What does the secondary ability do again? Return up to, no, that doesn't do anything for us, because they don't have anything out. Let's just go ahead and get into our third. Boom, boom. We're up to our third. And we should be able to deal 45 points of face on this turn. Minus whatever mana they have in hand or whatever we're going to drain from them. Ooh. Ooh. We might want to put that up in hand, baby. We may want to put that up in hand. Nah, let's just 45 is fake. <laughs> <laughs> I was see what we do. Is it like 40, 35 points of damage? So he had 10 mana in hand. That's cool. How oppressive is that? We want to get back up to our third again. So let's go do it again. <laughs> oh, I'm enjoying this more than I should, kids. I am enjoying this way more than I should. Oof, we're up to our third again. We're up to our third. <laughs> I might just get the face. Oh, okay. Quack. <laughs> Why are my cards getting discarded? Why are my cards discarding? And I can't click on anything. Did I just freeze the game? Come on. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's go here. Yeah, I froze the game. I froze the game. All right, Webcore, there you go. Let's try it again. <laughs> zzz, 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 zzz. Let's uh, let's try that once more, shall we? All right, we got our, our dude bright again. Let's get him out. Oh, and then check your mana bonuses. So we're see, we're turn one, so we get plus one. So we start, we get four, but we really start with always five. I don't know, dude. I don't freaking know. Let's let's just try to get him out. Hey now. So this next turn, I'm gonna be up to six. Then yeah, yeah, okay. So it's six. So you start with five, you get six. Brr. Or I can't count. I don't. I don't know. I don't know why you guys follow me sometimes. <laughs> Let's go here. Boom. Boom. 
Boom. Let's do all the things. We're up to our secondary ability. Wow. I think this Jace is stupid strong, guys, if you build around him this way. I think he's really stupid strong. Let's see. Don't cast it or cast it. That's fine. That's fine. Let's play our secondary ability. Let's go ahead and do, let's do this. Let's get him back in hand. Drain the mana. Raise the costs. Let's see if we can get that out from them. Let's go here. Boom. Maybe we get a black drop. We got another secondary drop. We got that blue drop. We're going to go ahead and shoot him in the face. We're not going to shoot our dude in the face. Why didn't this, oh, desertion doesn't have, because they don't have any mana. You see that desertion doesn't work unless they have mana on their stuff. Okay, cool. Now it should work? Question mark. There it is. Okay, good. All right, we're not to our third. We have a five swap. Nobody tell Nalthazar I'm having fun with this. Don't tell him. Uh, World Rage Soul. Okay, yeah. There's someone does not like having Kalta <laughs> against them. All right, so we're up to our third. We're going to do our third. Yas. And <laughs> they did not get it. Okay, we should be able to shoot him for 45. Let's see. And I'm a big, big fan of Colt 45. Bam! To the face. I love it. I love it. Why did we discard a card? Is that what it says? Oh, I can't read that. <laughs> Boomer eyes engaged. All right. So drain all the mana from your opponent's hand. Deal X damage to your opponent's planeswalker. X is 45 minus the amount of mana drained from their hand this way. Exile the last two cards from your hand. Then the first two cards in your exile game plot six and the plotted emblem okay 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 that's why so they're not they're getting exiled i just missed that my apologies that's working as intended so if we look at my exile i have a card because i only had one in hand let's go ahead and five swap uh, what do we have nine mana loyalty gain now right now boom did not get us to our third get us to our third that gets full mana now okay cool all right so we get to shoot him again with another colt 45 well it'll be less than that now all right so I need, you need to have something that does draw in this deal. Cause now, see, the challenge is I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna lose my two cards, they're gonna go in to plot it, and it just puts you in a loop. You gotta have something that puts that off, so you have enough draw, so you're not having that challenge. So we shot him in the face? We did. Um, we wanna get froze again. Froze again. Ah, uh, it froze again. Okay. So. There you go. That's two freezes in a row. Let's try something else, shall we? All right, Mythic Build. Blade Coil Serpent is really the only card that's key in here. Uh, Academy Elite to be able to take advantage of stuff we're going to be throwing in the yard. I just pulled Lock and Load today. I'm trying to be able to break it. This is not an optimal build for this. This is a jank build. Remember, we're spotlighting the power of the Walker. The Waka. And uh, this card I really like. I'm going to go feature it in another build uh, in the future. We're really about all the, the draw and reinforcing our creatures, which is knowledge is power. Get on the board, reinforce our people. Assimilation Aegis is a stupid strong card. Lock their first creature down, steal their next creature that's not locked down or the first creature, and then go beat them with it and then make them put, give it back to them and hold it. Virtue of knowledge, because we like to double up all the things. Jace, the perfected mind to be able to do the third ability, which is punish them for what's in their yard, but we don't need to. Meeting of the five to get two of the cards we have here, which is Hustle, which is a jank card. Don't use it. We're using it for its second side. Cut Your Losses, of course, is actually the, the MVP there. Here's a look at the deck. Click, click. Don't play this deck. It's jank. It's jank. Watch. Okay, jumping right into this one. Jumping right into this. This is our Mythic build. Uh, yeah, I mean, just think about it, man. Just go do your thing, son. Do it. Again, 49 life. I don't even care. I don't care. And this isn't an optimized build. Oh, uh, let's go here. Boom. Optimal matching there. Good job. Let's go black to black. Oh, come on. That should have gone. There it is. All right. So you got to have the room in hand for those two cards to go. All right. Motorcycle. I'm out here, but let's actually get Aegis out. Aegis is actually the one I want. We're not into our first ability, though. This is unacceptable. And this is where that Steam Caller is kind of a, a really important card. That's a heck of a cascade, though. We'll take it. Destroy them with their own rain, Vein Ripper. Rain Vipper. Let's ditch Hustle and Flow. Let's not one of the Aegises. Let's go ahead and use our first ability, Ditch Aegis, get the mana. Uh, and again, I'm not using uh, who's he, what's it in this? We'll go red. I'm not using uh, Sunken Citadel at all. So that's not getting me the mana gains that I want. That's why it's so important that you have Sunken Citadel. Like, I'm just sitting here thinking, oh, it'd be nice if we had that. But I'm not using Sunken Citadel. I'm just using his first. 
and I'm getting all the mana that I need in this. Look, look at this. Look at these shenanigans, my friend. Just redonkulousnesses. Uh, just laying waste to him. Blade Coil is so good. So good. It's going to be sad when he rotates out. It will. It really will. Not, not, a, not a fun thing there. But that's okay. That's okay. Let's actually use our first again. Boom. Here. All right. We're going to keep Blitz because we like to Blitz it. Ah, Blitz it. Again, I don't care. We're locking it down because we have control in this build. We have uh, knowledge is power on the board, ramping up our creature. Just, I don't know what's happening right now. I really don't. <laughs> I don't know why my stuff is winning right now. It's just doing it. It's just, Oh, because of him. Because of he. Interesting. I'm going to have to take a look at that card. So when I draw a card, gain life, lose life kind of thing. That's funny. That's funny. I am entertained by that very much so. All right. Uh, let's see. What, what does he do? What does he do? Come on, come on, come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, my gosh. How many cards am I going to draw? I'm going to draw all of them, yes? Uh, when a creature you control dies, lose reinforcement. Your opponent loses it. I didn't lose any reinforcement. Well, I guess I did. Yeah, huh? Let's do black here. We're not to any of our abilities, but we will be. Wink. Uh, I don't need to kill any creature because it's just going to get exiled right now or just get discarded, I should say. Wink, wink, wink. Drop all the stuff. Draw the cards. Do the level ups because of uh, knowledge is power. I'm not worried about having Half-Life in any of this because I had to cancel the last game. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. It's not, it's not a concern for me. I just don't care. And I don't know why this creature is continuing to do the thing it's doing right now. I don't know. All I know is I win. <laughs> I build these decks and they win. I think I need to have a whole segment. It's like, explain great, explain Gaz's deck to him because he doesn't know what he's doing. It just works. Let me go through it here and give you my final thoughts. Let's go. Okay, final thoughts on Jace Reawaken. I don't like mono walkers. I love this Planeswalker. I know. There's been a lot of comments of, oh, Gaz is paid to love all Planeswalkers that they... No, I don't. I freaking don't like... I didn't even shoot a video for the last mono blue Planeswalker they put out because it was so lame. I didn't like him at all. At all. And I know some of you guys are, he's one of the greatest blue Planeswalkers of all... No, he's lame. This guy, on the other hand, is amazing. And I'm saying this, him broken... <laughs> His first ability is absolutely ridiculous. The ability to ditch a card, gain the mana from the card that you're ditching, level one, is amazing. You're not starting with four uh, mana bonus to your blue. You're starting with five. Next turn, it's six. After that, it's seven. You sunk in Citadel, and you have a crazy mana gain levels across the board. Blue is ridiculously strong, strong enough to win on its own. You saw the jinkiness I put out there with mana from your hand and make you discard cards? Jink! And his third ability was able to go in and win all on its own. Oh my god. This guy's amazing. And they're all cheap. They don't. The third one's broken. You use it twice. At least for me. Now, I, again, I'm going to say this because uh, I'm going to post this video as is because I don't have time to reshoot the video. But what's, what's going to happen is everybody's going to say, guys, it was a card broken or something like that that was interacting with Jace. And I'm sure it was, and I'm not going to go through and figure it out. I just know that when I play, when I play tested it, it had the issues and it was doing the things, right? So use it twice, you could go in a night, right? I, I love this guy. Where do I rank him? I think he's the strongest mono blue planeswalker I've ever played with. I love him. I love him. I like him better than uh, more than Master uh, Teferi Master of Time. I do. I love Mott. I love Mott. But I, this, taking an extra swap is great. With this guy, I don't need them. I just lock them down, remove all their stuff from hand, and just beat them into oblivion. Stormcaller, you do need mana ramp. Unfortunately, Stormcaller is actually in, in standard for another two or three years, so we've got plenty of stuff to do. Cut Your Losses is gonna be leaving rotation in October, which is unfortunate, but, and that's really, conversion is one of your big optimizers for that, but Sunken Citadel is gonna be in standard for another three years, two and a half years. So yeah, I'm not even worried about it. You're gonna get plenty of mana gains. Sunken Citadel, cut your losses, 
and then Stormcaller are kind of your three core cards that go into this just to get your mana gains up or go convert a bunch of stuff with uh, gem conversion and whatnot, any other way you can do it with lands or whatnot and make it happen. I definitely give this guy an A+. I don't think a monocolor walker, in my opinion, can be S tier. This guy's as close to it as it comes. Dude, I love this walker. If you like this play style at all, definitely worth the $29.99 American USD dollars. Pick them up for gold. It's an easy 300 gold no-brainer. And uh, by then, I'm sure they'll have them all worked out and fixed. But just as is, I'm enjoying playing with them. I'm going to go play with them some more. Hey now. As always, I appreciate you. You could be anywhere in the world. You should spend this time with me here. Thank you again, WebCore, for giving me access to this uh, walker. I love him. I can't wait to keep playing with him. And I can't wait to play with him when he's fixed. And as always, get into the Discord. We've had some tremendous, powerful conversations inside the Discord. Uh, I'm constantly letting you guys know updates on anything that's going on in the game. Click, click, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And in addition to that, uh, I'm always, you know, res really wanting to engage with you and figure out what's going on, how to help you. We I think we have one of the largest communities in the servers right now. Somebody was saying that to me earlier, and I didn't believe that. But I actually think we have one of the biggest servers, communities, in the game, which is pretty awesome, dude. Because it's a neutral environment. There's no recruiting pressure. You can play whoever you want. If you want to get hooked up with a coalition, I got all the big leaders that are in there. They're amazing. The best players in the world, like Zivvert and opera stomper and some of the other great great guys that are in there uh and it was steve is in there oh my god steve i love steve steve's awesome uh just get in there and uh engage ask questions participate and we'll get you hooked up with the best people you can in in the game period to give you optimal tips and stuff like that hey you want to see some interviews with some other people you want to see some cool stuff thinking of doing that comment in the thread below let me know and until our next quest my friends swords up i appreciate you i really do Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I don't I don't think Webcore intended that design. <laughs>